Hey, what's up? Welcome to the show. Feeling good with Duddy. That's me. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Hey. What is up? We are back with another episode of Feeling Good with Duddy. As always, I'm here with my brother and my co-host, Mr. Jake B. Hello. Yes. And today we have a very, very special guest with us. But before we announce him, Jake, what's up? What's new? Let's go. What's new? Um, let's see. What is new is we got a merch store. I guess it's not so new. I announced it on the last episode, but it's pretty new. We got a merch store, hoodie sweatshirts for the show, T-shirts for the show, hats. We got the Duddy B pen that's already sweeping the nation. I don't even know if you can see it from there. The nation's been swept. The pork snorkel pen. I could tell. I'm looking at the monitor. You can kind of see it. There it is. They put it up. The pork snorkel pen available now. Get it while it lasts because it'll be gone. I think those are actually hat. almost gone. They're so almost hopefully. gone. Yeah. So hit that pork snorkel. That's uh, feelinggoodwithduddy.com. Also, I would like to give a quick little shout out to Uppercut. Yeah, Uppercut Deluxe. They are an amazing pomade like hair product company that I use in the barbershop all the time. And when I went on tour with the Dirty Heads this summer, Uppercut styled me out with a bunch of their products. I used it on everybody. I did a bunch of haircuts and I took pictures of all the haircuts. I didn't take pictures. I was cutting the hair. You get it. Someone else did, but they're great pictures. So Uppercut had me write a blog about the tour and the haircuts I did. They featured some of the photos as well as like the story that I wrote about the summer. Please go to uppercutdeluxe.com, go to the blog section, and read my blog. Bam. All right, dude. Other than that, I think everything's pretty much the same shit here. What's up with you, Dud? Yep. Um, not much new. Uh, I, mean, I think we talked about it last couple episodes, but we got the fall tour coming up. We're excited to get out there, uh, the dirty heads, that is, and make up those shows that we missed because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we've been meaning to get out there, and uh, we're just very excited about that. But other than that, not much. So let's get into it. Why don't you get into the fall tour a little bit? Why don't you? I think you have, we got someone here today who might be able to help you just chime okay, in so quite quickly. Speaking about the, of fall tour, yeah. let's talk about our guest we have today. You all know this man. Uh, he needs no introduction. Most but we're going to give him one anyway. Most requested guest. Jared Watson, a.k.a. The Melter. Yeah, get in here, Jared. He is here with us today. How the you doing? melter. Look at that hey, smoke. Hey, yeah, dude. I saw people online that were like, "Why hasn't Jared been on the show oh, yet? Is there, does he not? Does he not like that you're doing the?" Po I saw people write. Oh, I'm yeah. like, nah, please, we can't have Jared on in the first 25 episodes. <laughs> we, you save the gold. We had to make oh, yeah, sure we like uh, knew what we were doing first. Yeah, come on, Jared's got shit to do. You can't just. Yeah, we still don't know what we're doing. I'm but a good thank candy. You for yeah. yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. You're a wrapped. I'm candy. stoked to be here. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, I, I think people have a weird idea of what bands should be because of documentaries actually no i think we're just like the exception yeah this has been talked before like anytime anybody in a band does something separate from the band everybody goes oh shit there's a rift in the band yeah what are they solo? beefing? No. It's like, no, we fucking spend every day of yeah. our lives together. And when we're home and we got time off, we want to do other shit. I like, I fucking applaud anybody in our band to do anything outside of that and completely support them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I, But I don't think a lot of bands do that. I understand. It's human nature. Yeah. You're being in the band. It's. Your whole life is the band. So when somebody does something, oh my god, and then you get that those weird. Well, I don't want them. I want you. Just it's, it's almost weird. like it's, getting cheated on or something. Yeah, it's like, like it's hey. like silly weird jealousy things that you just go. What the fuck it am is I talking almost about? Like, like siblings. Like you create like that yeah. brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So when you're younger, you're like during Christmas, it's like parents have to. It's got to be pretty fucking even. Oh yeah, one right, like, right, well, wait right. Wait a second. Yeah. You know, so you kind of almost get that yeah. vibe sometimes. It's just like caveman shit where you yeah. don't want the, yeah. like, Ugg to have more women or meat than you. Dude, Ugg's always <laughs> going to have more women. Ugg's Do you know what I'm saying? Too. So you just got to be why. like, dude. No, I'm, I'm, so I'm fucking, any, anything anybody ever does in the band, I'm all about it. I support it completely you because it's super. You all have other stuff, too. Totally. Yeah, and it's. Everyone's I, got other stuff going. I think it's really healthy. Oh, it is. Yeah. I think it's really healthy for people to, to go do outside shit. And it usually, usually you can see it. And then that comes back into the band. Totally. And then that happiness spills over. That's all I'm all about, just mm -hmm. being happy so that yeah. your happiness spills over on other people. So whatever makes this totally. motherfucker happy, it's me and him <laughs> yeah. since day one. So anything that yep. makes Duddy happy, I'm like, yeah, dude, sure. I got Dirty your back, man. And never going anywhere. Yeah. Like, and we've it, talked about these it. These dudes yeah. get along perfectly. Yeah. And, and it's like, don't just, 
you don't have to just do one thing. Yeah. You don't have to just be good at one thing. Like it's great to go out there and try different things because you might find something that you love and that you didn't know you'd ever be good at just by going out there and trying new things. Yeah, how you talked gonna, about in the past. How are you going to grow as a person? Exactly. You do one thing for your whole life, which I think you should have the one. Totally. Thing you should that have that your you main thing. Yeah, but yeah. get out there and try other shit. Try some shit, man. Hell so yeah. I'm stoked you guys are doing it. I'm stoked to be here. I'm so excited. Thanks, man. Yeah. Well, we are excited to have you, and so are the uh, the listeners. Like, you have definitely been the every, most requested every guest. Day, there are people week. just like, why aren't yeah. you having when him on? When is Jared? It's like, I will, I will. Jeez. He's but, coming. Uh, um, They're high. They're going to be disappointed. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's here to all of you. So on that note, this, this isn't going to be like a normal episode where we just sit here and kind of like, you know, interview and talk about, you know, what's going on. It's like, we, you know, Jared, you know, and if you've been listening, I mostly am talking about dirty head stuff on here a lot, too. So it's like we don't need to do that. So we're going to we're going to just do a lot of fan questions and things like that. So let's start out with a fan question that. Oh, this one isn't even a, a specific person. This is was asked so many times. Let's do this real quick. What's For up? the listeners that look. We're a brand new podcast. The vast majority of our listeners are Dirty Heads fans. That's my brother's band. That's Jared's band. And they have a huge following. Their following listens to our podcast. We love that. For the people that don't know, the if there's maybe some listeners that don't know, Jared's in the band with Duddy. That's why we're like, we don't need to do an interview. Where did you start? You know, who is Jared? Most of our listeners know. And for the rest of you, we're just going to tell you, we've known Jared since we were kids. So that's why Duddy's like, let's just get into some fan questions and let's just party. So those of you who haven't heard of Jared Watson, sit down and get ready. And it's going to be a great, great show and fan questions. Dutto. Yeah. So I just wanted to start with this one. I thought I would just give a good little overview of, of how we met because this question was asked so many times when I read through them. And it, people just want to know, like, how we met. Like, how did you guys meet? So I just thought we can give them probably a, prick, a quick little just overview of how we met and, and got going and. But, uh, yeah, it was in high school. Our mm-hmm. older brothers were friends, and it was, you know, pretty much like hanging out at parties and stuff. But, yeah. It was uh, – I don't remember whose house it was, but it was in Ray Diaz track. I know that. Okay, so, so it was Diaz directly – It was directly – yeah. I know nobody knows that, he but for you guys. He lived in between our tracks. Was really good <laughs> it was ours, directly yeah. across from Marina High School. It was the corner house. There was a party. I went with Jesse, That's my Jen, older brother. That's older brother, yeah. I go into the party, whatever, drank, smoked whatever and then uh somebody was like hey you, you gotta come check this out you were in somebody's bedroom and you had tapes you guys i'd never met you and you were in the bedroom listening to your fucking tapes of on a like a boom box right oh, yeah. <laughs> listening to tapes of raps of these rap songs that you guys had made. Yep. And I was like, oh, God. So you got to listen to Duddy's raps. I was like, oh, dude, <laughs> come on. But th- I got in, and they weren't serious raps. Like, <laughs> no. they were hilarious raps. Everybody's dying. We were smoking weed. We were laughing. It was They were the funniest fucking raps I have ever heard in my life about dicks and guns yeah. and how your dick shot knives. And, yeah. like, just <laughs> r- the most ridiculous. And I was like, immediately, I was like, I got to become friends with these I guys. I got to get I the have to get into whatever they're doing. So for the people listening, Duddy and even myself, like we, there was this point in time, we were in punk bands in high school, Duddy and I, and that was our first thing. We played guitars. But then all of a sudden, one of our friends got a hold of a Casio keyboard. So in our garage, we'd have our friend come over and he would, We'd play the drum beat off the Casio keyboard and record it onto a mini disc recorder. Four, I had a, a four, four track, track mini disc recorder. Mini disc recorder for the you know recorder heads out there. You'll know what we're talking about. So one of the tracks we'd do a drum beat, and then we'd on the second track, the Brett who owned yeah. the keyboard would play a bass line, a simple little bass line. On the third track, Brett would do some sort of keyboard over the top, and on the fourth track, we would rap. Yep. You know, just we're young, we're, we're rapping. This is well before the Dirty Heads, obviously. So that's, I didn't even totally know this. So Jared, you just go to a party with Jesse. And yeah. for the listeners too, Jesse is my grade. I'm two years older than Duddy. Jesse's two year old, years older than Jared. Yeah. I was in school with Jesse. Jared and Duddy now meet at a high school party. Yep. And you walk into the bedroom and he's listening to his own raps. Everyone's probably dying on the floor, I'm assuming. Oh, we're right, like Jared? 13, you know. Yeah. So oh, what, what do you say? Does someone introduce you to Duddy or what happens? Yeah, I think Jesse was just like, hey, this is Jake. Yeah. This is Duddy. And like. I think it was one of those we just instantly. Like, were just like, within, within, there. With, how, yeah. Within an I hour. I like I remember within an hour, I was like invited to the house. Yeah. I was yeah. going there tomorrow. Like we, I was like, oh, this dude's the best. Like yeah. this guy is the best. And we got, we went there the next day. And I remember because it was right when. Wu Tang came out with 36 mm-hmm. Chambers. Yep. Yep. So yes. at first, there was like all of the Dreddy dudes, 
like that we hung out yeah. with, right? And there was like twelve of us. There was a bunch and of us. we were sitting in the garage, and we would do like the eight man. Every guy yep. would have eight to sixteen bars, right? And then they slowly stopped showing up. Yep. And it ended up just being me and Duddy. <laughs> just me and Duddy just kept writing raps, kept writing Dude, raps, uh, kept writing at raps. At this point, yeah, Jared's older brother, Jesse, had like the best dreads oh, yeah. ever. They were like perfectly groomed dreads. And how those things were to his butt almost uh, yeah. before he cut yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your long. brother was like, the, yeah, there, there was, was like a big old group of dreads dread in our There was a dread crew, school. for oh, sure. A full dread crew, yeah. And Jared yeah. and Duddy, you guys were like, you know, so obviously I'm playing a little bit of music in my band and, and Jesse's kind of like the fucking leader of the dread crew. Yeah. And Duddy and Jared are the younger brothers coming into high school. Yeah. And they got attitude just, and style as well, you know? Just tagging along. Fucking hell. And so um, I remember, um, do you remember any of the songs? Do you remember do, anything? Yeah, that, yeah. Do dude, you remember them? hundred percent. Fuck. Do you think, um, do they... It, sound like this don't, at all? Don't, no, 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 don't do it! Oh, no, dude! Did they sound like this, this? This, this is Jared, Jared from 20 I years ago. I knew you were going to have something. Then a holes. Hit. Shit, I won't be dead. I don't remember all these bars. This is Jared at 13. Snoop Dogg. Yep. Janine. Always asking me, will you hit the back towel? No. <laughs> I, I don't, don't do, do that, that shit. shit. But stick around, I'll let you fucking clap. Three or four times we're back Oh my god, dude. Yes, my shit is radical. Now what's that? I knew you were gonna do something special. I couldn't I can't believe you brought this up. Oh, I'm uh, just wondering if that sounds like the song. I don't think that was I think that was actually <laughs> young Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that oh, is fire. Jared. Dude, you Ooh. were good. So we, you know, so obviously, you know, we, we, looked, we found a couple of these little hitters, you know, and we, you were good already. Oh, yeah. Just, you were good already. I dude. don't know. No, I that was wack. good, bro. I was pretty whack. You know, Jake was actually pretty fucking good, no. too. Well, you, you, got, you don't got a clip of that? Oh, I got a oh, fucking got... hit. I got a hit, dude. And you're going to see how good Jared is when you see I'm the fucking Will Smith of this group, dude. And, you know, I guess that could be a good thing, but I'm not sure. Listen. J A K here I come now I'm gone playing mischievous games on and on Rao, here I come right I back at you from these. Jurassic Park I'm, I'm the, the raptor <laughs> no one ever called me the raptor before or after this oh my god I was never the raptor oh my god the raptor then you sit back to think what I've done realizing now that I am the one Ooh, la di da, la di da. What am I, seven? <laughs> Take off all the pause from the message I sent from the beginning. Now this is the end. Yeah, yeah, just fire. Just in case you guys thought we were lying. My my favorite rap that anybody done was our friend Joe, and he had a rap about making jellyfish in the back the bathtub. Dude, I wish I had that one. Let's listen to that right now. This is our friend Joe Sennett, who's never <laughs> done a musical film in his life. The other day, I was taking a shower. Started whacking off, and I took about an hour. All of a sudden, I heard Mama scream, Joe, come out and get, get your chicken, chicken wing. wing. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't just stop, not until I felt my left nut pop. Another minute later, my load hit the tub and was floating around like silky white mud. A couple strokes passed, I was done with my D, because I knew my cream puffs just loved to be freed. Hopping out the shower, I was strictly motivated to eat up the chicken wings that Mama created. As I entered the hall, I see Mama frowning, but I told her not to worry. The cream puffs. Oh, don't worry, Mom. Time, my jizz is going down. Because everybody in the mother loves to bust the fat low. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he snuck in a lot of syllables Dude, on that last yeah. hit. He had some fire. You know what? A, oh, you shit. know what the, the biggest shame is that like, that's the quality of rappers now. Uh, like you, it, like, like that's the quality. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the quality of like giant SoundCloud following yeah. rappers. Like that's where you're what just it like, this like? is fucking garbage. People are like, yeah, but they're huge. It's like, why? You put some trap shit behind that, some sad boy trap shit. We're crushing. We should just release that. Dude, that's our next album. Fire. Dude, right, I, we got it, we got I can't take it. I have a feeling we're going to get a bunch of people going, release, release that shit. Oh, bro. So apparently I thought that I was. Uh, Easy E or was it? Who was I trying to be here? Oh, dude. Yeah, oh, no, uh, Duddy beat uh, was too short. Too short. Yeah. It's too short. Because I remember, shit. I remember at the time, like I, it was like I was trying to sound like Snoop. Yeah. Duddy was trying to sound like Too Short, and it did. It. Oh it, fuck. Yeah. So right, you never know. Here's how... some Duddy from 20 years ago in the garage. Y'all rappers, yeah, <laughs> cool. Bust my lyrics, put your ass.
ass to school Cause I'm fast as lightning and smooth as butter Smooth as butter dance, just ask your mother ask Cause last butter. night I went to I don't hear house. a difference I rocked that motherfucking party out or just busted Yeah, crazy ass beat I put all your sorry rappers ass to sleep in my right hand man It's Sean Wow party all night long and to my left Yeah, it's funky ass Brett Brett ass down without breaking a sweat oh. Oh shit! <laughs> That's why you can hear us coming. I didn't, we didn't even. We weren't even cool enough to have names for each other. No, Brett. Sean and Brett. Brett. Yeah. What's our rap name? My friend Sean, oh. and to my right is Brett. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir. What's your hip hop name? Yeah, it's Brett. It's yeah, Brett. Yeah, I told man, you my name Brett. is Brett. So uh, the MC no? We, no? I I put Orfila's on here too because it's fucking classic. It's the best. So right. we're playing it. Just playing. Are we shit. doing it? Sean Orfila, Sean, our, our, our good is... friend Sean. He actually on one of the first shows we ever did. Was he, he was our DJ. Yeah, yeah, Sean so. Orfeli is a legend. Back in the day. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. The name is Sean. And I bust my shit set all night long. Now freestyle is how I rock the mic. And if you don't like it, then I'll steal your bike. That's my a nut. threat, dude, right there. It's bigger than most, and I got the biggest dick from coast to coast. Now I'm chilling <laughs> at the club. Someone passed me a big fat dub, the dance floor. He's 14. Oh, my when I'm dancing, you can't play my game. The ladies, they just flock. What do you know? They start rubbing my car. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. oh. What do you know? They start rubbing my, my car. car. The club. Dude. The club. We were 14 dude, we years old. We didn't even old. have a car. Someone passed me a big fat dub. We were 14 <laughs> years old. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh, uh, joint. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, dude. That oh, was man. that new dude, Jared. Wow, you thanks, just, dude. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah, dude. Does that just bring it back? Holy shit. I, I thought I was going to be a lot more embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's still time, dude. No, dude. What's up, everybody? Oh, oh dude, dude, this one's the shit. On this one's, one's pretty good. This is Jared again right here. Come with the whack rhymes that you be using. And when you step to me, yo, you're bound to catch a bruise. Because my name be JD. I like to smoke the Cincy. Because it be Bush. He was good back then. And we be branches off the tent yeah. tree. There's no one sweeter than me on the MIC. I and when I slap your fan, that was our I cool effects. Back then, yeah, we were ahead of our time. I'm giving you my bow, cause I'm the Lone Ranger. No, I'm not a stranger <laughs> to the female apparella. Make you float like Tinkerbell yeah. from the smoke that you inhale. I'm so dope, I could dance for Chippendale. So I'm so I dope. Yes, a pussy scale. I could dance for like Chippendale. Set, but uh. I did. thought it was okay, cause the room was. That no whole way. scenario you, you painted in, right there? Like, oh uh, shit. So just to make it worse, keep the second verse. That bush now be on. I'll wreck your fucking shit and then I'll throw you on the lawn. Cause my shit's darker than spawn. <laughs> oh, the timing, bro. The timing, the timing was fire. Darker than spawn. Was that Tender Boy? I feel like that was too that was not pretty far close. Cool. Lone Ranger, Something piano about loop. Something about hitting up someone's mom and you said, what you said? I, I don't like a saggy tit, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was okay because the room wasn't lit. Then you walked in and was like, oh, oh shit. shit. That, <laughs> that's a good, I can see that whole thing happen. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Oh, that's a good Funny thing, were... I didn't know that I was just prophesizing on what was going to happen <laughs> later on in life. Right. Oh, oh I know. Mm, oh. Skeletor. Oh, I was going to say, I know exactly oh, no. what you're talking about. Yeah, I got taken that advantage was a, by an older lady. That was a, wait, well, and Someone I won't say who like, else, oh, I won't say who else was there. The other person involved with this, but uh, what are you looking for? Uh, I was looking for a dropper bottle, but this will do. That's her, <laughs> her, her nipples were like as long as the end of a dropper bottle. Yes. It was gnarly. And the weird part is, is that her daughter was there Damn. hooking up with another one of our friends at the same time. Oh, and her daughter wow. was like young, like, like just, we were, we were young, we were young but like, she like, like was like, 18 years old you yeah, know we were and she 40. was like 45 or 50 no dude she was 50, 55 bro. 55 and they like came to shows and like this was like a thing where like we named her skeletor just to let you know oh, oh, obviously listening. she was hot if we named her skeletor you know. she was not hot is she uh, listening i, know. I I'm hope like, not. I'm God skeletor uh, well uh, uh, she, uh, oh, you're fucked oh uh, you're fucking more lizards the better there totally dude <laughs> it was like a five show thing where i was like no and then one night i just got smashed and you know she you made knew it happen. that night huh you're like, like i gonna, think tonight I'm, i have to I'm do this do I'm okay. like, I'm she trash. wasn't she wasn't that bad it was pretty gnarly <laughs>
but yeah. Thought it was okay because the room, room wasn't, wasn't lit. lit. Yeah. Prophesicational. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Prophesicational. And Skeletor, word. if you're it's listening, exactly we're not talking about you. No. no. no it's a totally different totally Skeletor. Totally different story that sounds exactly Please. like the, your story. You're She-Ra. Whoever yeah. you think you think we're talking about you, you're She-Ra. The other one's Skeletor. She's probably 80 by now. <laughs> oh, just man. to let you know. Podcast? <laughs> 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 Who's Skeletor? Oh my oh, goodness gracious! Sakes, so dude. yeah, so let's let's go to another fan. Let's question. do some fan let's questions. Let's do another dude. fan oh, question, dude. That was dude, that's fucking oh, hell, boys. Wow. We were listening you... in the back. Dude. Oh, we have more God. songs. No, 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 no. That's good. That's good. We're 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 good. Uh, the music your band makes has taught you has taught me a lot about myself and how to chill and slow down. What has has your fans taught you anything about yourself? Oh wow, that's a good question. Right, good. I thought that was All kind right. of a cool flip. Um, Blake, you got a smart daddy. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's like one one lesson that I can really like remember, but <clears throat> I will say this: uh, when Fans come up to me. A lot of time people are like, oh my God, fans come up to you if I'm like with homies or something and somebody comes up, you're Disneyland or yeah. downtown, whatever, and somebody, oh my God, Dirty Heads. And they come up to you and they give you praise and they say, thank you. And can I take a picture? They go, oh my God, you know, must feel nice. And like, you know, how does that feel? A lot of people, I think it feeds the ego. Mm -hmm. For me, it makes me feel so fucking human. Like when they, when, when anybody comes up and is like, oh my God, your music has done this and you guys are the shit. And it's just praise, 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 praise. In my mind, I'm just going, if you only knew like the shit I'm either going through or the yeah. faults that I have or the things that I'm working on or whatever, like it, it really kind of humbles me and to like, oh, it just makes me feel really, really human. Yeah. And I think that's good. So that's probably what I've learned is that, that like I look inward when things like that happen and go, oh, well, th this person thinks I'm so great. Like I'm not like, okay, so what can I work on to become greater, you know, or yeah. just a better version of myself? Like, but I'm never like, yeah, fuck. Yeah. It's Thanks almost like a reminder. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I know. It's like a reminder <laughs> yeah. to live up to what they want of you course, to be. Totally. It's totally. kind of cool actually. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So I appreciate that. Yeah. That's a good question. And that's really cool. And I like what you said there. Um, <clears throat> kind of will feed into our subject of the day today. And you said like, if they didn't even, even know like the things I was working on on myself or mm. the th you know the things I'm going through um and the word today having you here because we were both talking about before you came and just you know watching you go through this it's been really inspirational but transformation hey you know and that's today's word and we're gonna focus on that oh, and that doesn't mean man. you know like it, it could that can mean something different to, to everybody whatever you're personally working on but like don't be afraid of that don't be afraid to jump into something that's hard to end up at your end goal it's going to be tough to get there you're going to have to go through transformation and you're going to have to go through change that's maybe not comfortable and you're going to have to do things you're not comfortable with but if you really want to be a better person and you have goals to like transform yourself into the person you want to be you got to start sooner or later and for me the reason i brought this up with duddy was because <clears throat> so look duddy's in the band with with you know with jared and so they see each other all the time for those of you who are like longtime friends of jared or fans of the band you've probably seen it um, happen over time with particularly Jared, but I got to see it crazy, crazy this last summer. So here's the deal. Uh, you know, I was in, uh, not only did I tour manage the dirty heads back in 2010 for like nine months or so. So I was on the road with Jared several times for long periods of time. Um, I also was in a band and ended up touring with you guys a couple times. So yep. I spent many of summers on tour with the dirty heads in many a ways. And Jared <clears throat> used to be the ragingest partier <laughs> in the world. Like this dude was just, I mean, he was never like, the, that's the cool thing about Jared too. He was never like a prick or a dick or he just partied his fucking ass off. You know, he always showed up and always made it there. Um, but he was drunk. He was, he was whatever. He was raging. And sometimes he would look like he never hadn't slept in weeks. And sometimes he didn't sleep for weeks. And and then I didn't see Jared for several years. And then I go on tour um, this past summer with you guys. Yep. And I'm like, Jared is completely sober. He's running, doing ex exercising every day. 
He's like got not an ounce of fat on him. He's doing ice baths. He's he's like this completely different person. I didn't see that transformation because I was living my life away from you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys saw it. So I thought it was perfect for this because, man, you know, you went from one extreme to the next, but it hasn't affected your passion for music or the way you appear or seem on stage. You're the exact same dude. You just left all the raging behind. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. So what happened in the last three, four years, dude? Like dude, I don't think, I just don't think my body could handle it. You know, like I just have no breaks. I'm telling you guys, like, I just, I'm not exaggerating. Jared would fucking rage for no, like I'll five, fuck you six up. days oh, yeah. at a time. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. just wasted oh, yeah. and still be at every show, which yeah. is beautiful, but man. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. Like, oh, if, yeah. you wanted, if you wanted oh, to go out with me, like, yep. oh, all right. All right. <laughs> it was one of those. Jared would find whoever was the other craziest partier yeah. along the road, and then they would just rage together. You know? Yeah. And the whole band partied. Like, totally. Jared oh, was yeah, I, I don't the partiest. Mean. <laughs> no one, no one really had breaks back then. No. It, yeah, it Daddy just, was wasted a lot too. Come on, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just catches up to you. I mean, nothing mm -hmm. is healthy about that. It's yeah. fun, and when you're in a band, people are like, they don't care. Nobody checks you because you're yeah. in a band, so you start drinking early. Nobody's gonna. You say almost anything. feel like that's what you're supposed to. Well, do. totally. That's yeah, kind of the thing. Like, you, I'm making people happy at the same time. Like after the show, if people come back and they want to party oh my god we get to party with the band or whatever you're like let's show them a good time you know like i'm on when i'm on stage and then i want to stay on after and then i just re uh, that's an excuse i just really liked partying well, and we did it at home it was just an extension because oh, yeah. the dirty heads were already like a super fun rad band at home and even when they weren't big they were still the party band and yeah that's the thing it perpetuated itself you were a party band so totally. everywhere you went Everyone wanted to party. Yeah, we were party. partying before we were a band. That's just you know? what kind of kids we were, you know, growing up skating and surfing and just fucking that's what we did, yep. you know? And um, yeah, I just, there's, there's, you just, there's an end to that that you, it, it, it catches up to you. It either um, ruins you, which it does to so many yeah, fucking man. people, you yeah. know, or you completely, you find your breaking point or whatever it was. Yeah. I don't, you don't know what oh, it was. Oh, yeah, no, it was a breaking point. It was? Yeah, yeah. fuck, yeah, dude. Because, yeah. well, talk well about that yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's it's all good. Like, uh, so it was all good for a long time, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and I could take breaks. And my body was young and I was fine. I could take breaks and everything was all good. And then it got to a point to where I, if I took a break, I my body would just shut down. And I'm like, well, I got a whole tour I got to go through. So just keep it going. You had to drink. Or yeah, whatever, or you know? whatever, pills, yeah. drink, whatever. And then and then and then you become addicted to feeling good cuz then cuz then I know exactly how many drinks I need, exactly how many pills I need, exactly how much weed I need to get like this perfect level of mm -hmm. fucked up where I just feel amazing. amazing. You've never like felt better. Doctor, ne of, yeah. dude, totally. Up. You've yeah. never felt better, right? So then you become addicted to just feeling good. <laughs> Sorry, no pun intended, but oh, like yeah. just feeling great. And then uh and I your brain just goes, "Okay, well if you're going to fucking make me feel good if you're going to get all these chemicals from all this other outside shit i'm going to stop making oh, all yeah, the yeah. the chemicals that you need right that's pretty much what happens yeah. so my brain just got lazy and was like no you're getting it somewhere else i don't need to make it or i'm depleting it yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so then when i tried to stop it was brutal i can't fucking stop right now i had, i would have to wait till the end of tour and then take a, like a week off and just lay in bed for you know 7 days 2 weeks or whatever and finally on the road um, there was a show, there was a morning I, I, I woke up and it was to the point to where I would wake up, grab a beer, walk into the dressing room, drink the beer and, and then shower. And that's how I started my day. Damn. And he pop a pill, shower, beer. Oh, a pill, a beer, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, just to level out, <laughs> yeah. just to fucking level out. dude. Oh, dude I'm and I didn't even see, right now, I didn't even, I yeah, I didn't even see any of this coming. It just happened. The next thing you know, you're there. You're like, whoa, oh, I didn't used to do any of this. I've been like, doing this every day now for like three oh, months straight. Yeah. And it's almost like once you, when, when you're just doing it for the first little bit, you don't think nah. of it. And then after a while you go, oh, whoa, I've been doing this, this ain't for healthy. months yeah. or something. And then my body just shut down one morning. I, I, I couldn't get out of bed. Uh, and we had a show that night and I was like, I got to go to the hospital. And oh, so shit. one of the runners took me to the hospital. I remember this day. And uh, the, I went in and, you know, the doctor was just like, you just have nothing in your body. You're just, you haven't eaten, you haven't drank, like you're dehydrated, you know, blah, blah, I told him. And he's like, dude, you're a fucking alcoholic and you're probably a drug addict. And I was like, what? And like, I was like, you're right. But I, I knew, <laughs> like leading up to it, yeah. I knew like, man, I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna fucking hit me one day. And, and so, 
I'm glad I did it this way, but it is probably the hardest way you could possibly do it. That day, I was like, okay. And I, I came back from the the uh, the hospital and we had a show and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. But I sat the guys down and I was crying and I was like, dudes, I'm a fucking alcoholic. I got an issue. And they're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> like, you know it's like, they're around me <laughs> yeah. every day. And I'm like, I'm, qu- I'm quitting. I'm, this is it. It's fucking, it's fucking you. Cause the thing is so heavy because it was fucking the guys up. It was fucking their lives up too. Cause what if I can't play the show? And once it affected the people around me, that's when it really bothered me. Um, and obviously not being able to, walk or get up out yeah. of the bunk and it was just, just such a bummer so right then and there i had like 50 pills 50 vicodins i threw them in the trash i stopped drinking on the fucking road and it was hell living yeah. fucking hell coming off of i mean because i was on pills for like a couple years and then booze and shit like that so like it's pretty much coming off of heroin so i was withdrawing on the fucking road that's unreal. it was so gnarly and i would ju- and all i just i just thought you have one hour a night you just have to play one hour a night and and daddy can attest like i would just lay in my bunk all day long oh yeah i would get out i would shower i'd play the show and go back and lay in my bunk and it was fucking hell but i'm so glad i did it mm-hmm. because i went through it and it was so gnarly that i was like oh i'm never gonna do this again you know if you make it easy then you're going to fall back into it, right? Like, I can stop again or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just It was fucking so brutal, dude. But I'm so glad that I went through that suffering and all that shit. And then, you know, it, it took it took a, a year or so um, to get my brain right again to where I could be happy. Then there, then there was a big, long year of, like, depression, anxiety. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it was really, really bad. But that's because my brain just had nothing. And I just fucked myself up and damaged myself for so fucking long that there's nothing you can do. Your brain needs to reset. So I, I researched a lot. I stopped feeling bad for myself. And then I looked at it like a science experiment. I said, okay, my brain's not making any dopamine. It's not making any serotonin, Mm -hmm. but I felt like my brain's separate than me. There's me, there's my brain, there's my body. So what can I do? I I didn't want to get on medication. So what can I do to like get cheat the system and get dopamine and serotonin and all these things. And it was exercise, 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 diet, exercise. So I said, okay, fuck it. And then, uh, so I just started exercising a bunch. I went, started going to the gym, started training stand up with Ian, started doing jujitsu, just started working out. And, and like, I remember the first like really hard workout I had, I felt normal for like 30 minutes afterwards. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh my God. And I hadn't felt normal for a year or so. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God, that's it. So then I just fucking worked out yep. every fucking day, twice a day, ate healthy, and then slowly I got better, and then I was just already in that habit. And then once – so I, it, this happens to a lot of addicts uh, or a lot of people that have problems with substance abuse because I still – I dabble in psychedelics, anything that has healing properties. I still smoke weed, so I'm not completely sober. You know, yeah. just booze and pills are a problem. But a lot of people – and like I said, I only have one speed and I have no brakes. So I just took one form of feeling good yep. that was just kind of like m- the easy way out for me. You know, being on stage, I got to be on. I got, you know, all these nerves or just booze, <clears throat> pills, whatever. Uh, I just traded addictions for a healthy one. Mm-hmm. And then the byproduct of that is y- you're feeling better. You look better. Your brain's healthy. And then once you get to that level of happiness – and feeling good that's addicting and i don't want to lose it so now i'm like fuck this is just this is the shit you know so now now that's where my passions lie you know and now it's a thing to where it's like i wake up and before i'm even awake i'm in my backyard hitting kettlebells hitting the ropes because i have noticed which this is a shame but i did it to myself if i don't work out even one day, if I try to take days off and stuff like that, even if I don't go walk or surf or do something mellow like yoga, my brain's like, you get a little grumpy. Yeah, I'm just eggy, you know. Yeah. And and that's I did that to myself. So it's like I have to, yeah, for me to 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 feel good and feel what I want. Like I I'm addicted to feeling good. That's why I was doing those other things. So when I, I want to feel better than normal, you know. So for me to feel better than normal. I got to go work out. Work so out. Now I'm just like, fuck That's it. a real thing. I mean, there's, yeah. there's a thing called runner's high. Like people yeah. run totally. long distance. Oh, for you sure. feel euphoric afterwards, you know? Yeah, totally. It's, it's like a reward for the Ooh, hard yeah. work that it is. And this is pretty awesome. But the Wim Hof breathing that I've been doing, like it is. So the working out and all that, that's just like 
uh, you know, you just feel good for mm-hmm. your day and you're happier and mm-hmm. you're just more compassion and you just, you just feel normal. Right. But with Wim Hof and some of these breathing exercises I've been doing and, and this lady Marjan, she's kind of like a life coach, shaman breather, uh, I'm breath coach. Um, we'll do like hour long breathing techniques and I swear to God, it feels like you're on Molly wow. and DMT I've, just from oxygen. I've been doing a lot of the Wim Hof ones, but I mean, I don't do the hour. No, yeah, right. But even if you do the four rounds, I just do the four rounds. You do and four rounds. Oh like, my god, it's not. I've never feel, done that. Oh my oh, god, Jake. After this fucking episode, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. You're, you're just breathing. Is that what you were doing good. before the ice baths? I would do no. a short one, yeah, yeah just yeah. to get my heart rate down. Mm-hmm. But now I'm I'm actually doing all the courses to get certified for Wim Hof oh, so that I can nice. teach it. In like, nice. I don't want to make money or anything, but like after jujitsu or stand up or anything in the gym, if I want to feel comfortable teaching people it mm-hmm. and them being comfortable by me saying, Hey, I'm certified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I can show you this and I'm not going to fuck you up. It's not going to fuck yeah. you if you're just breathing, but yeah. like it can bring up emotions. People start crying and shit like that. It's not though oh, wow. with you. No. You'd have to do it for a long time, but you can do three rounds of 30 breaths the d- as deep as possible. And then you're going to breathe out your last breath. You're going to blow everything out and then you're going to hold, you'll hold your breath for like three minutes, two and a half minutes it's crazy. with no oxygen in your lungs. You're just supercharged and your whole body is just waves of endorphins, ele- electricity, like all of oh, your cells. Yeah, it's sick. insane. You can get really high and you can get really deep with breathing because I tried to meditate and I just can't do it. Mm-hmm. Just the mindful meditation where you're kind of just focused on your regular breath. Uh, I, my mind just runs wild. Yeah, I've tried so if I'm really that. getting after it with my breath, I you have to concentrate because yeah. it's a lot harder to sit there and breathe really deeply 30 times. So then I just, you got to count and you're mm-hmm. keeping it. So that's your way of meditation. Mm-hmm. But then in turn, you're just like, you do that for a long time. Like, so you, like you've done it the three rounds. I've Imagine been, doing that for an that's hour. That's what I'm saying. Dude, I've you are on rounds. a I did journey. It, I do. I started, I was just doing like two. <clears throat> it's hard. I would do like two and I would, you still get like a very euphoric feeling yeah, man. even after two rounds, you know, but then you do that a bunch and you're like, man, I want to go. Even I want to go deeper. So then I did three and then you're like, holy shit. And I've done four a few times. And man, it's literally like when I'm done with four rounds of it, for a like a good 20 minutes afterwards, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever. yeah, whatever, whatever, what? whatever, whatever. <laughs> Oh, Anytime yeah. you feel like you're in a bad mood, heard of this shit. Yeah, it's yeah, so man. great. Oh, I, awesome. I I do it multiple times on the road, or yeah. if I'm home and things start stressing me out, I'm like, "Hey, babe, give me 20 minutes." And she's cool. I go upstairs, yeah. breathe, come down. It's good. nice, and if you're listening, and honestly, you can even just ty- uh, go type in Wim Hof uh, breathing exercise, and a, and a YouTube video will pop up, and it's him explaining you exactly what we're talking about right now and he'll even walk you through it right yeah there it's easy too. it's free and it feels great it's your it's just oxygen and it's w-i-m-h-o-f-f yes and it is life-changing wim hof wim yeah. hof yeah. hell yeah so hell yeah, yeah guys uh you transformation said that makes you feel good if it does and that's what don't try to segue <laughs> for me Lately, he has been trying to fucking segue. I am the segue captain. Oh, you're the segue guy? I am the segue oh, captain. The segue you will listen to me. We got to get a little, like, a picture of Duddy on a segue. Oh, my God. Dude. Doing a segue yeah. on a segue. Oh, you know what I'm really on. sad about? You, you know what I'm really bummed on? Oh, no. You guys have a, the word of the day, yes. but you don't have furniture that freaks the fuck out when you say it. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh man! Transformation, transformation, oh, and right. the fucking chairs open like up and the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, dude. Come Nails on. Here. Shit. Well, we'll get on that. Oh, okay. please get so a talking fuck, chair. Man, have dude. animated furniture for you. Get a talking what? chair. <laughs> well, next episode, Jake won't uh, interrupt my segues, and that will make Pee-wee me Herman feel used to make good. Me... Oh, you fucking. Here and we spe- go. Woo! Uh, oh, son of a real Speaking bitch. of feeling good, we have some sponsors on this podcast that make us feel good. <laughs> He's all bummed. <laughs> I was trying to help you, all dude. Right, I thought you missed right, a really whatever. great opportunity. Yeah. And, but instead, you were I just, need to right. Wim Hof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. Did I do all right. Speaking of uh, sponsors, our first sponsor today is Koi. Koi CBD. We love this product. We talk about it every day here. I uh, use it every single day in the morning. I use the droppers. I love the way it makes me feel. If you are someone who has lots of aches and pains in your joints, um, and you're you know you're constantly popping pills, uh, try some CBD. I think you're gonna like the way it makes you feel, and it's a lot healthier for you. And also, I have here. They. Uh, I just got some. Koi CBD for my dogs. Uh, 
well, I had a dog that, that had some really bad joints we, we recently had to put down. And at the end of, you know, her last few months, we were giving her CBD and it helped her so much we could tell. So now I'm already giving it to my other dog. I'm, I'm, I'm getting on it uh, before she has a problem. And, she, and I could already tell that, you know, she's feeling a lot better. So go to KoiCBD.com and put in code DuddyB at checkout and you will get 20% off your order. That's like right. a good moment for that. That's right. I'm reading a message I'm getting here from <laughs> Natasha. You keep going, bud. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Why? Why'd you pause? Dude? Well, because there are writing shit up here. And... Oh, fucking stop writing shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, sticky vapes. I don't have one here in front of me, but I do have some up on my shelf of goodies. <laughs> Jared, hand me one. You guys can write shit. Bro. Yeah. Um, Daddy's uh, off. <laughs> uh, Sticky Vape, another amazing product that's been with us since day one. Um, we love these here. We use them all the time. We actually made our own with the Dirty Heads. And we just came out with three new flavors. We've got, uh, they're all songs off our new album. There is the Sativa, which is Lift Me Up. There is the Hybrid, which is Cloud Lifter. And then there is the Indica, which is Super Moon. And I've tried all three of these, people. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They're fucking delicious. They are delicious, <laughs> oh and God, they're dude. an upgraded pen. These new pens oh. they make—they're they're great. They hit so good. We're opening one right now. Yeah, We're opening this dude, one. I haven't even got to see those suckers. Well, this isn't. Unfortunately, this is not the dirty head one. Yeah, um, but this like is the white jacker. Little... Yeah, this is oh, a okay. great one. But yeah, these are great. So, um, Jake, where do you use your sticky vape? So I do this new Wim Hof uh, class yeah. and mm. where we do an exercise breathing. Right. And then there's a point in the class where we take a toke and then we hold our breath. For three minutes. Not a fucking bad idea no, right no. at the end, dude. dude Not no, a bad no. idea. And then I fucking just... <sighs> StickyVape.com. Uh, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and then also... I died. Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, on it, another <laughs> oh, mating product best. that we love here. On it, and that's on it with two N's, people. O N N I T. And, and Jared's um, on it as well, yeah. dude. Jared is a big MMA he fan. He is. We all you went know to what, Jared? Take take this. Take one. this away, buddy. Tell us about on it. Brought to you by on it. Uh, the <laughs> Jake Bushnell show is brought to you by oh! on it. Oh! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Standing ovation. Thanks, everyone. That's nice. But if you go to onit.com right now, you will see the Golden Ticket Contest. They're doing Willy Wonka shit. Uh, <laughs> if you buy the Alpha Brain, the 30 or the 90 uh, capsules, uh, they, one of them has a Golden Ticket in it. Uh, or you could get one with a Golden Ticket. And it could be you could get the grand prize where they fly you out to Austin. You get to go to the headquarters. You get to spend five days there. They give you money. You get all this fucking shit. And then they have uh, other smaller uh, prizes like you get a year of supplements, mm -hmm. a full set of kettlebells, a full set of weights. Like they just they have like 50 tiers of awesome uh, prizes for the Golden Ticket. So go to onit.com and buy some Alpha Brain. Mm -hmm. And it, this stuff works. And it I'm does. pretty really, sure really well. that like I'm – Pretty sure that every bottle has a golden ticket and it just ranges. Like there's stuff as low as I think 20% off your next purchase all the way up to what Jared said. Yeah. I, I hope I'm reading sure. that right. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think I think that's true. So go get it. But anyway, we can attest to it. Like we all went to the headquarters. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. We had the best time ever. You, you will be so happy if you get to go. And then I've been taking the Alpha Brain. I actually have it in here right now. It absolutely works and i'm doing the total human where you take pills in the morning pills at night it gives you enough uh for for a month when you buy the total human package and you know the first few days you don't know you're just like i'm taking these pills i don't know but you know a week or so in i'm i absolutely feel it i'm sharp i have energy i barely slept last night i got a six month old i swear and i feel great right now it works, dude. It does. Yeah. I uh like i was saying all the damage that i've done to my brain yeah. a lot of the times i'll you know, we'll be having a conversation and I just, I can't think of a word mm -hmm. and it's yeah. a normal word, That's... like cohesive. And it just, <laughs> I can't think of cohesive. And I'm like, Oh my God, dude. And I'm like sitting there. It takes me 10 minutes. I'm cohesive. Oh my God. I'm like, I know that's the damage I've done. Yep. When I, t I, when I'm steady on the alpha brain and the uh, mushroom tech, yeah. it, it makes it a lot easier tech. for my brain to dude, work. I swear I've noticed <laughs> it because <laughs> remembering, like I'm talking about, not like I met someone once, like, famous actors name oh, sometimes you'll be like oh my god like fucking michael keaton and now i, I swear to god i've noticed yeah you're just I'm a little not sharper forgetting these little dumb things yeah. i'm like shit i think i'm noticing it's this work 
Yeah, it's really so yeah. Awesome. So then there you go. A hundred percent sure then that there is a prize in every bottle. It's the capsules themselves, people. Yeah, the that is the prize. Every bottle has them. <laughs> that was so, <laughs> tidy, <laughs> dude. You made up for that shitty I'm segment. Back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's on it Woo! with two ends. O n n i t dot com, and if you forward slash daddy at that at the end of that, you are gonna get ten percent off your order. So check it out. Get on it. Bam. Boom. And that's it. So that's um, what that is. Yeah, boo. Man. yeah. So uh, let's get. Dude, what? I had a funny story too. Let's do a fan question if you want, and then I have a funny thing I'm gonna remind you. I'm gonna take you Great. again back down memory lane. No, Fantastic. you're you're gonna fucking love this one, Jerry. I'm gonna hate it. Uh, this, <laughs> this was it's another song. I thought this was kind of funny. Uh, Radcock. Dude, yeah. Radcock Sweet. with the W. W R A D C O C K. W R A D. Radcock, right? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. probably a last Radcock. Yeah, yeah. You got a Radcock. Bro. How you going, John Radcock? Ooh, Ooh solid. Solid. Yeah, man. this is my brother, Cool Come. <laughs> <laughs> cool Come Radcock. How you going? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my uncle uh, Sweet Dick. Uh, All right, okay, I think we're moving we, on. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I think we did it, dude. Okay, so Radcock <laughs> wants to know if you had to choose to either ride off into the sunset with Willie or get on that unicorn with Tommy, which would you choose? Tommy, 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 all day. Jared's riding off on a unicorn, I, and I wouldn't want to steal the thunder from you. You know, thank you. I know that you'd, Thank you'd, you. you'd be jealous if I rode off with Willie, but would. like, I would be a little bit. I, I mean, doing ass on Tommy on Chong, a oh, unicorn with Tommy too, be pretty That'd be fun. cool. Yeah, and a unicorn. So, oh. story. You had you want to have a story? Creature. Yes, I just wanted to remind. So, another thing, um, I used to work with Jared a long time ago. Jared and I worked at a surf shop in Huntington <clears> Beach together, just for a little while. But this. Um, so super fun. And, and a little side note was I never really listened to 311 ever. And and when I worked with you at that uh, surf shop, the Creatures album came out and you were the one you were like, hey, check out this Creatures song like this. This band is dope, you know, and I started listening to 311 after that. So that. Thank you for that. Yeah, because I, I remember, remember that like, this song is fucking sick. Who is this? I just didn't really know about 311 anyway. And then I ended up liking them. But the real story is, do you remember what we would do? In like the winter when they're because, dude, our surf shop would be dead during the winter. It was a very small shop and we'd literally sit in there for like three hours at a time with nothing to do. Yeah. Do you remember what we used to do with the hacky sacks? We sold hacky sacks at the surf shop and Jared looks like he doesn't remember. So I'm just going to tell you. I don't. We would sit <laughs> like. 20, 30, 40 feet away from each other on the floor with our legs spread, sit flat on the floor, and we would throw the hacky sack at our ch at each other's dicks. <laughs> I do remember that. And the this. game was, you weren't allowed to overhand it. It wasn't like a laser beam. You you had to underhand it or do that backhand where you, you kind of, whatever, swing it underneath. Yeah. You had to do like a lofty throw, and the rule was you are not allowed to move. You yeah. had to sit there and watch the slow motion hacky sack. <laughs> Come at your dick. And then we figured out that the way to do it was to land it right in front. <laughs> yeah, and then it would just bounce, bounce under and just, ah, oh, you oh, remember that, dude? There's nothing funnier than that. Oh <laughs> just God. watching a dude score him when you're just, like, oh, this is a perfect oh, that's a throw. Fuck that's sake, a good one. Dude. Oh, man. Yeah, that was oh, funny. We used know. to do a lot of We just drank tall boys all day and dude, dicked around. This is no joke. We worked at a surf shop. There was a smoothie shop next door and the owner of the smoothie shop was like a, a hippie surfer dude and he had a bong in the bathroom of his smoothie shop. We would go next door, take bong loads, come back and just sit and throw hacky sacks at each other's balls for paid. hours on end. We got paid for that. We got paid. We got paid for so that. if you ever bought a hacky sack from the <laughs> yeah. Huntington Surf and Sport oh, in the late 90s, early 2000s. The small one on Warner Go Avenue. ahead and smell that yeah. hacky sack. And uh -huh. yes, you will be smelling Jake and Jared's balls. Yeah, that's not that's a that's a ball sack as much as it's a hacky wow. sack at this point. A happy sack. Yeah, there's a lucky hippie out there kicking it around. No doubt. <laughs> oh, my That happened, goodness. dude. We used to do that. Right. Let's get back to some fan questions. All I just right. like sorry, taking sorry, Jared sorry. down memory That's lane. good. We're, we're taking him all the way down. Yeah, I have a bad memory, so this is great. Uh, mm, 
Oh, okay. So this one reminded me of something. This was uh, Sarah Reese Twelve wanted to know Sarah Reese. Uh, what what was the best prank that you've ever done on each other? And this wasn't necessarily a prank. This was just Jared being a total fucking bully when we were younger. So <laughs> we 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 had, we were going to a house. I think it was even Jenna's house or something. Um, and she was just having a few friends over. It was gonna be like ten of us. And that day before. I'm going over there. I just got a brand new white canvas by Keaton sweater. Oh yeah. Brand and white, like bright fucking white. You're and like, I'm, I'm like, gonna nice. kill it tonight. And I even was thinking, I was like, damn, I shouldn't get white. Cause I always get, you know, I always get yep. my shit dirty. He's like, whatever. This shit's dope. I got it. Brand new white sweater. I fucking go over there. I go over to Jenna's house. I, I have Guinness at the time. <laughs> I pour myself a glass of Guinness and it's full to the top and it's fucking perfect froth, right? And I, I haven't even taken a sip yet. And I'm like, right on. I'm, I'm ready to start to party now. <laughs> and I fucking turn around and Jared's standing right there and he just goes, <sighs> no. And he just blows the foam from the top of my beer <laughs> onto my white sweater and just spackled the entire front of my brand new white sweater with brown Guinness foam. It's the greatest <laughs> thing you can do. It's so easy. Uh, I just and stood it, there for five minutes looking at him like, like, what do I even do say? That's, just like, you it brings so much joy asshole. to everybody's life. <laughs> that's, so much, that's so much better than, because I thought you were going to say he knocked oh, it. Oh, no. that's you rude. Just, that's, and that's aggressive. That's rude. Just, <laughs> you just... Dude, <laughs> if you, next time anybody's out oh, drinking dude, with word. their buddies and any of your homies has a very foamy beer, but it makes it so much better when it's a Guinness. Just oh. just before they get that first sip in, just give them a, <laughs> just, <laughs> just dude, it fucking it's the best. It's, it's my favorite thing so on the face of the planet. That reminds me of a story that Rome told when he was on the show about you getting him back. I don't think you were thinking that, but didn't you push him onto a Pizza? Oh, this, pizza. this was the Madonna Inn night we yeah, talked about. We and talked then about he, punched, he punched me in the face yeah. afterwards. <laughs> you are I a did. bully, man. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> hey, uh, he was really wasted back we, then. We all that were anymore. that day. That was a special day. We've talked about that on the show, I think, twice, if actually. If you guys want to hear that, that go back to back the Rome Ramirez episode, and we completely detail yes, that story. Yes, and I, that's like episode three or something, if you want to hear that whole story. It's a wild fucking story. And it ends in me getting punched in the face by Jared. We had some Jared's good still times. mad. He looked at me. He's like, yeah, I fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> deserve it. Son of a real bitch. Son of a real bitch. Um, did okay. You, what? Uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't want to look at any of the questions, but like I was getting at it. And oh, I okay. Also, somebody added me, so I hit the thing. And I, did you see the taco one? Uh, I, this yeah. literally <laughs> I have right here. Oh! I literally have it. Because I, mean, I didn't remember this at all, but I thought it was hilarious. So you're going to. The question is from Jess Niket Art. And that's just.naket.art. My question is a follow-up from a YouTube Q&A many moons ago. Duddy once told me that if he were a taco and Jared were a hand sandwich, not hand, am sandwich, <laughs> that in a fight, Duddy would win by stabbing Jared in his eyes with his taco shell and then squirt salsa in them to finish the fight. My question to Jared is, if you weren't a ham sandwich, what food item would you be instead to ensure the taco Duddy B wouldn't be able to win this time? Let me tell you, bro. The best question. Uh. (laughs) Sleepless nights I've had (laughs) over this question. Oh, my God. Like so many things. So what food would win a fight against a taco? Right. I was Because when when you said that, like... I don't think there's anything, Shell, right? Right? Pokey, You're like it's, it's hard. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like wh- I don't when only you have a sharp pokey thing. I've got fire sauce, and school. you can yeah. crack yourself up. And sh- yeah, th- there's fire sauce after your knives. Yeah, dude. The taco is kind of like Alien. You you shoot Alien. You think like, and then he bleeds acid on you. So mm-hmm. you're still fucked. You're fucked with the taco. You're yeah, fucked. and then he shoots a little baby taco out of his mouth right in your fucking eyeballs. <sighs> exactly. So it's uh, I had to think about it because at first I just going all defense like a walnut. Oh. You know, you eh, survive, but then what maybe. am I gonna do? Fucking yeah, like know, yeah, a turtle on the shell, but a turtle's never gonna win a fight. It yeah, just isn't yeah. Gonna like lose obviously a, fight. a ham sandwich is fuck. What the fuck's that gonna do? You're Any fucked. kind of sandwich. Yeah. I'm just starting thinking of sandwiches. I'm just thinking of dumplings. I'm thinking of fruits. I'm thinking of pineapples. I'm Ooh, thinking of all this shit. Stuff. You know what I landed on, bro? You know what I fucking landed on? Pudding. <laughs> what? Fucking pudding, dude. Are you just gonna? Dump just yourself just, on me? The taco will just go in and be devoured by Boom, it all? Boom, son. Oh. Digest them. I'll eat that fucking taco. He can't do anything to me. Dude. I'm the fucking blob, dude. You shoot knives? 
I just fucking eat that fucking knife, yeah, that tight. taco what knife. Can you you really... shoot fucking hot uh, sauce on me? I, whatever, bro. I can, my, I, where yeah. are my fucking eyes? Where are my like ears? Where are my mouth? Lee. Doesn't matter. Well, you couldn't be a snack pack. That's too small. Well, sure, but have you seen a bowl of pudding? I have. Okay, so yeah. sure, I have. If you're a snack pack, then essentially you become like a little quicksand pile, and the top is <laughs> yep, yeah, dude. fucked. You can't get Check out. It out. I can take parts of me and make little quicksand guys for you to fucking. You can't oh, even get to me, dude. dude. Oh. Pudding, bro. Oh. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, like a pudding. Well, yeah, just. Do, I don't know. It's at least come a at stalemate. Me, oh, yeah, okay. I know. Okay. Come at me. Figure your way I know. Out of that I know. Come at me, bro. I know what could fuck up pudding. <laughs> Oatmeal. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I know it right now. What? Ice cream. It'll freeze it. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Fuck. Guess what? You're fucked. You're not fucking ice cream. You're a taco. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, but are you a choco taco? <laughs> oh. Now, now we've entered. Okie doke. <laughs> this is good Dude, stuff. Great questions today, everybody. Choco Taco might be unbeatable. Right. That is. Could Choco Taco, unbeatable. so far, if, if you're listening and you could think of a, of any to- <laughs> any sort of food product that could beat a Choco Taco in a fight, we'd love but, to but, know. But, but, but right now, let's just say any food, let, let's put taco, Choco Taco aside, any food that could beat pudding, yeah. because right now, can we all agree on I still agree think a Choco that Taco I, would just sink into the pudding, but... That's what I'm saying. Can we all dude, agree that right now I have okay. won the, the yes. food fight? Yes. I would, dude, you just said it. You don't want to hit I a thing? Just you want to hit say, a fucking thing for oh, me? Oh, fucking... Thank you. Oh. Okay, and I was going to say, you even nailed this. I was just about to say, we have now... We now have a new segment, and it's called Food Fight. Food Fight. And, Fantastic. And every we have to ask guests, every guest that comes on... Pudding is now the winner. Are we, <laughs> are we saying this? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I get to go pudding? like fucking You're up face to face with now whoever's next. Yeah. Now it's gotta be pudding. So now next my rain. guest, next guest is gonna have to try and beat pudding. Dude, Fuck my, this. my rain I'm will be so long. Happy this happened. Oh, That's a man. great deal. So we gotta get people in the back now. We need something. Food fight. We need some sort of drop for food fight. So we'll get that. And then also. We can dovetail into a to don't list. We have a thing called the to don't list. Things to don't ever do again. Yeah. And um, did you have one? I think. Well, I have one that was birthed out of the question. Oh, that's asking. right. right. So, that's right. So um, I think what, what what have we put on the to don't list? It was I don't it, correct it, people's grammar online anymore. Like they wrote the wrong there. We cool, fucking we get it. it you don't need to go under and ha- you know star the little star and a, this is the correct. And there. you don't even need to correct yeah. your own if you it's text somebody stupid. and like they know what you texted. Don't star it. I get it. Mistakes. And then <laughs> when you send someone a hey, fucker and it says hey, ducker. I mean maybe you're wrong. <laughs> I, I hate that one. That was I love weird. it. Um, but. I don't, did we add another one? Do you remember, or is that the only one? I think now? it was only one so far, and okay. that's that. So now we have a new one. If you're a fi- <laughs> these were great questions, legends. All of these questions that we read, okay. And the rest of you, look, this isn't a condemnation or whatever. Don't kill yourself. You know, we love you, but a condemnation. I think that's Condemning them, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a condom. No, it's a condemnation. We're not saying we hate you, okay? But when you have a chance to ask a question, when are you guys coming to Cincinnati? That's not the question. Never ask it again. Or if we choose you on the live thing, it's like, hey, have you shit your pants? And then we choose you and you come on. When are you coming back to Sioux Falls? You know, never. Here's the deal. That question will never be, you know, you're not going to be like, when are you coming back to Pacoima? And we're like, oh, fuck. We got to book a show to Pacoima. It's, it's either coming or it's okie doke. Where's the Do it, order? Jake. Hate do it, Jake. Do it. Where's the market? I got it right here. Oh, oh, you've done dude. it, people. Son of an actual bitch. Don't you need the horn thing? Oh, oh, no. Come on, dude. Time. You're a baby. Wah. All the way to you as a full blood. You don't even fit on the screen. You've grown so big and strong. Somewhere in here, you're given an opportunity to reach out to someone you want to say something to. Ask us anything. Anything, dude. Ask these types of questions. The food fight thing. The who fucking pranks. You say, here's the deal. It's a big special world out there. And you live fucking there. 
That's <laughs> you. That's an exaggerated version. And you have all the, and your question is, when is, are you? Here's Jerry. I'm Jerry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I wear t-shirts. That are fucking wrong. Make it look like I'm excited for your so, for your question too. He's excited. He wears kind of, he used to wear skinny jeans. There's like some ankle showing. He's got tattoos. He's excited, dude. His <laughs> smile can't be tamed by the face size. It's so magnificent. Oh. He can't wait for the question. What shall it be? What type of fucking mag? What can I enlighten everyone? I have ten minutes left on the show. Maybe more. What question? And then, when are you coming back? When are you coming back to Norfolk, Virginia? <laughs> when are you coming? Like, he's just, no oh, Norfolk? Yeah, I'll be there on November 2nd. He has no idea. None. And it's not like he's going to go, I forgot that's a place. And then call Cheese. And here's Cheese. It's his beard and his mustache. He's cheese. He's got like 70s fucking sex hair now. And his phone <laughs> rings. And it's a Blackberry for some reason. This guy is still you. When are we going here? And cheese just has the answer, dude. And this, that's a fucking. <laughs> One shot. Mom spaghetti. You get it, dude. The All right, let me go get my bean. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, in the nicest way possible, yeah, no, all we're course, saying is, is it, 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 this 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 no. this uh, response will never get answered. If you're <laughs> yeah. listening and and a, and a band ever goes, "Hey man, we're gonna have a Q and A today. Ask us anything," and you go, "When are we going back to X marks the spot?" They're never gonna answer. You, you that know what? Fucking my question. fucking favorite is is that. This has happened numerous occasions. We just played Vegas. Oh, yeah. The next day. <laughs> Where are you going to play Vegas? And I, I fucking said, we just played last night. And the person went, oh, I know. When are you coming back? And I was like, oh, my God. I was driving on the freeway, saw a fucking car with a baby in it, the sticker. And I was like, fuck this, dude. I'm going to fucking crash into this car with this baby in this fucking Bam. boom. Bam. That's almost what you made me do. Well, it fucking blows my mind. It's nuts. And my buddy, Ryan, uh, he, he, uh, he's in my one of my – or my video game clan, but he's a good buddy of mine, Ryan. Hamby Mammy, what's up, dude? He started – because he noticed it. This is how genius he is. He fucking noticed it. I didn't even say anything. I didn't even, like, make the joke. But every fucking post I made for, like, two months, no matter what it was, he oh. would put – a new place no, and, he and he just started getting ridiculous and oh, i was like I what him. are oh, these dude. fucking places so then i, I started him. looking them up and he found all of like the towns in the united states with the lowest populations oh, and it was nice. i would just so every post i was like, i can't wait for ryan to fucking post come yeah. back to like yeah. johnstonville fucking wherever and you yeah. look it up and you'd be like population fucking 13 <laughs> dude it was so good oh, it was a good the troll. best thing you can do actually it now amazing Everybody do that. Yeah, everyone's yeah, gonna yeah, do everyone it. start doing everyone's that. Gonna Go do to dirtyheads.com and yeah. click on tour dates. Yeah. Dude, that was my, oh, we, that's the best. <laughs> we, no joke. We fucking we 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 play Florida more than anywhere else. I swear. We play so many shows in Florida. It's hilarious. And I remember there was this one stint we did where we played. <laughs> Jared, where are you going? Bathroom. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, he's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're all good. It doesn't matter. Um, and we played like four shows in Florida in like one week. And I know Joe got like a DM from this chick. And it was like, why don't you guys ever play in Florida? <laughs> I almost lost my shit. I was like, you're online. You're hitting me up online. You have access to all the information in yeah. the entire world. And we've been in Florida for the last week. And now you're uh, asking peeps, me when. People too lazy. Uh, or they just want to get a response to easy question. But like, yeah. if you ask me a good question, I'll respond I'll to you. I'll respond the Hit fuck me, out of a good question. Dude. And so before we even forget, you guys back there, keep track of our to don't list for us, please. Because we'll forget. Look at Daddy and I, like dumbasses. <laughs> so we got that one. We've I, got two. We couldn't remember. There was one. We couldn't one. remember. I, I th I, you guys gave me another one right now. That's why. So now okay. we have the, if you're a fan, if you can ask anyone a question, don't ask about when are they come back to your town. And you guys said it. Stop asking people questions online that you can easily Google. Do you see this when people <laughs> go on Facebook and they're like, I'm looking for a dog groomer in the greater Seattle area. Anyone got any suggestions? Yeah, Google has every <laughs> single suggestion. And they're rated and everyone on earth will tell you what Google has it. 
Oh, it's a don't ask Jay right. questions. Yeah, don't, don't ask Jay <laughs> questions. Moral of the story is <laughs> Jay nice doesn't want to fucking yeah. talk to you. I'm a oh, good God. person. Uh, I, uh, uh, Jared, do you remember the two man puke avalanche? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck Tell yeah, us all bro. About it, dude. That was, those are like some of the greatest memories of my that life. That was when me, me and John John lived together for a while and our house was just the fucking rage zone and like, that two-story one it was a two-story like on condo florida. yeah on yeah. yep on uh was it florida street that was florida yeah. downtown like, huntington. it was florida or, huntington. or huntington. England street or something like that whatever England, it was downtown yeah. huntington and uh it was our garage was a bar like it had a pool table it was lined wall to wall with like neon bar lights because john at the time worked for a beer like dispensary place who who would stock you know all the stores and whatnot so our fucking beer tender yeah whatever it was uh, <laughs> uh so we just had a bunch of beer and all the shit our 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 garage was a fucking bar and our friends we just hung out there and we would raise your till the sun came up pretty much every day and this happened one time yeah so uh <laughs> christian brandmeyer who works for us he's yeah. been our tour manager he's part of management now uh you know one of our best friends and He's he's the best. <laughs> we were partying at Duddy's house, and it was very late. And he had, uh, you know, there's no carpet in the garage. But it that's wasn't where the pool late at one. It was early. Like the sun was coming. Oh, up. I thought it was. Oh, okay. No, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It sure. was probably like five. Four. Uh, I don't. I might be making the story shit because I don't remember how we got to this point or if anything funny happened before. But I know, at one point, Christian is next to the pool table and he's throwing up. And he's fucking puking a lot. And, <laughs> but uh, what I noticed was that he had his hood on because he's oh. bending over. He's standing, hunched over, just dude, just too. throwing up on yeah. the ground, mind yeah. you. Like, no trash can, no nothing. He's just fucking throwing Jeez. up on the ground. And I'm just sitting there watching. Going, and, Duddy, <laughs> and just laughing. So I noticed the hood on his head, and I see an opportunity to be a dick, no. but not be a huge dick because his head is covered. So while Christian's throwing up on the ground... I, I, I'm not the person that throws up when other people throw up. So I'm good. I'm watching him throw up. I'm probably laughing. I just shoved my fingers down my no, throat because I've been drinking all night. And I threw up on Christian while Christian was throwing up on the ground just to be a fucking dick. Oh, and it was it hilarious. Was fucking hilarious. And just to let you know, uh, I was, what, how old? 21? Uh, maybe a little bit older. Okay, twenty-three. Are you going up right. onto his back? No, onto, onto his head. head. Onto, onto the, the, the hood of his, of his head. head. So yeah, yeah. No! Christian's down like no! that. So you're Christian. He's no! like that. I see Christian. He's down, and then I'm. Oh yeah. <laughs> coming down dude for the listeners go to youtube for this episode please go to feeling good with duddy at youtube you want to see the whiteboard you got to see jared and duddy yeah exactly right. <laughs> so you think like you think like i grow up you know you think i grow up and be like look back at that and be like dude i i can't believe i threw up on my friend i should never do that again my wedding night my wedding night yo yeah man so, <laughs> so it's our wedding we just got married we're all partying at the the place in dana point the aquarium place or whatever and i am fucking oh smash fucking uh somebody brought molly to my wedding a water bottle full of molly like, who planned ahead? That makes sense. I was <laughs> raging. Yeah, it was the most raging letter. <laughs> yeah, and so, obviously, letter. I fucking sip on the water bottle. I'm super oh, drunk. Sure. I am so fucking, I am smashed. I'm spinning. I'm like, oh, fuck. And, you know, I know what to do when I'm too drunk. Usually, fucking throw up. So, I'm pissing at the urinal. And my one of my good guy buddy, uh, Brandon Tipton, mm -hmm. he uh, was in the wedding. He comes up to me, and he's standing next to me in the urinal and he's fucking laughing i can barely stand i think my shirt's in the urinal i got fucking probably pissing on myself and i look at tippy and tippy's laughing at me and i'm like oh fuck i'm like uh i know what to do here tippy is holding his dick he can't defend himself in any way i see an opportunity no. I'm and I was gonna throw up anyway because I'm in the urinal. Oh. So I just look over at Tippy. No, I gotta throw up and just let it fly. Oh. Threw up all over his fucking shirt, <laughs> all over his like his nigh, the one nice shirt that he has. Tippy was in the wedding too. He was in the wedding, dude. <laughs> so he's all done. He's up. got the nicest. The, yeah. be, the like, best. Never turn this. Yeah, the best oh. part. I get done. He's like, "What the fuck, dude? You gotta be kidding me!" A look over. Father-in-law just walked into the bathroom. Oh, I so thought he was gonna be, and he so was actually like, 
Nice. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, fucking Speaking hell. of Tippy, to tell you what kind of tip a guy Tippy is, uh, we went on a fishing trip for Jared's bachelor party. Oh, yeah. And, and Tippy's a legend, just to let yeah. you know. If, yeah, if, if you, you think I party. Brandon Tipton. He's a great surfer. surfer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is all, I'm sure he's got all sorts of shit on YouTube. So, yeah, for Jared's bachelor party, we we all, a bunch of us, we went fishing up in uh, June Lake. And uh, it was awesome. But we had... Uh, prizes for the end like a tr- little trophies for like what was it it was like there was legend legend who was just like the r- most hardest rager or... most fish and biggest bitch yeah big, so there was there was oh, no. there was prizes for the end and, and tippy won uh, legend because of one tippy special act raged. that he committed that trip and i will let since it was jared's bachelor party i'll let him explain what tippy did to win this prize yeah so we uh the the day in the day, we went on uh, the Parker Lake hike. And if anybody is going to the Eastern Sierras, if anybody's going up to Mammoth or the June area, June Lake area, there's a hike that you can look up called the Parker Lake hike. And I will tell you this. It is my favorite hike on the face of the planet. It is beautiful. It's, it doesn't it, – it's just – I don't even want to tell you about it. Just look it up. Uh, so we – most of the guys go on the hike. And Tippy stayed back with our buddy Weaver because he had blown his Achilles fucking tendon playing hockey or something. Him and Dan stay back with Weaver, and they're going to get a boat, and they're going to fish on Gull Lake. So they hung back. So we do the hike. We all eat mushrooms on the on the way up. So we're all shrooming. We do the hike. It's two hours up. It's two hours back. So you, we, we get back, and mushrooms are wearing off. I'm starting to have beers or whatever. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, oh, Weaver had just shown up that day, actually. That's why. And then, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to go say what's up to Weaver. They're on a boat. I text them. I'm like, hey, come get me. I stand on the lakeside. They come and grab me. They get in the boat. We start drinking. We start drinking. We're hanging out. A couple hours go by. We're all drunk. I'm coming down some mushrooms. I feel great. Awesome day. Awesome, awesome bachelor party. Tippy catches this massive trout, like a really, really big trout. And so he wants to keep it. So he bonks on the head. We think it's dead, whatever. And I'm like, hey, dude. I don't know why, but I was just like, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you stick your dick in no. the, the fish's mouth. Fucking and this is a big weird. trout. So Dan Demolski pulls out his <laughs> his phone and he gets a video and Tippy pulls Where's his, the video? T- Tippy pulls his dick out and I open the fish's mouth and go to put the head of his dick in this fish's mouth. <laughs> fish is still alive, bites his dick. Yep. Bit oh, Tippy's dick. Yes. It is the funniest video Do you I've still ever have seen. This video? I I don't have it. D- Dan has we it. We have it. We will do whatever we, we can to get this video and have it attached to Money this episode. Money will be spent. Whatever, yes. dude. Never laughed that hard in my life. <laughs> oh my God. We Aren't couldn't you? even get in. I think it was an hour or two before we all like came around from laughing and finally put the boat in. But it was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. What did dude just start? What, 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 it, dude, 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 just just start quick... sucking his dick. <laughs> 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 you don't know. Yeah. It was you a know. blowfish. Hey. hey. <laughs> Uh, no, it just bit his dick. It just bit his dick. It just scared the shit oh, out of us. It was, shit. We thought the fish was dead. It was fucking hilarious. Does the oh fish fall God. out into the water? Is it free to live, or does it fall back in the boat? You guys eat it, it anyway. It fell back in the boat, uh, and then I caught a fish this last time when I went up like two weeks ago, and it was like, it was weird. It looked really like similar to Tippy. Yeah. It looked, yeah. <laughs> it looked, it looked like a lot tippy. like Tippy. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> 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 he had a fucking oh, fish fuck. kid. Oh, that's the sickest shit. That's like, I, we don't even need, that would be the best band camp I was going to say, time. do you have another story you want to tell for band camp or fuck? Thought, like a quick, gross, weird, funny. Yeah, because that just didn't have anything to do with the band. Well, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a band thing, but. Uh, Let me know before and I'm going to do the drop. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do one. Yeah, All right, yeah, here sure. we go. Oh, and this one time at band camp. Oh, that's boy. it. <laughs> yeah, it's real. So we're on tour. We're in a country that um, is progressive. Prostitution is legal. Brazil. No, I'm not going to say where. I'm not. I'm going to leave a lot. Of, <laughs> I'm going to leave a lot of details out of the story. I, I already know where yeah. this one's going. It was a long time. They've been ago. to a million places. I just chose yeah. that. I don't it was know a long. Why. It was a long time ago. I had never gotten a prostitute before, so I am excited. To do it. I'm like, I'm going to do it for sure. This is the place to do it. And we go out in the daytime. We're hanging out. And we just go eat and shop around and whatever. And I had got some money out. I don't know how the baking systems work in other countries. But pulled some money out. Bought a jacket. Whatever. We go out. The guys are drinking. 
And uh, I go to the area where the prostitutes are, Ladies which is where we are also drinking. And I see a fine young lady, and she invites me in, and she says, would you like to uh, have my uh, uh, my friend join? And I look over, and her friend looks really attractive, and I say, why not? And then this fucking lady dominoes into another one and says, would you like to have my friend join? So there's three fucking ladies, and I'm like... Well, yeah, for sure. So I get three fucking <laughs> oh hookers gosh. the first time. I'm like, this is the greatest. If you're gonna do it. Why not? That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna do it, do it. So me and the fine young ladies go back <laughs> and we have some fun and it's time to put our clothes on and to pay these ladies. And these ladies are like, Hey, it's this much money. And I'm like, Cool, I got that. And I pull my wallet out and I realize that I don't have that. I forgot that I bought a jacket earlier and i'm like oh fuck and i'm like well hey and they're like go to the cash machine go to the atm i'm like fine that's that's totally fine i'll be right back and they're like we're we're gonna keep your phone and i'm like no you're not <laughs> you guys are not keeping my yeah. phone like here's my license and they're like no we're keeping your phone i was like that's not gonna happen give me my phone and i reach to get it and i'm like dude stop tripping they're like see this red button you don't want us to push this red button Oh, and I was oh, like, fuck. Shit. Yeah, like, you know, like probably fucking some Huge. Russian guy yeah. comes out and rips my arms off or something. So I'm like, oh my God. So then I'm just, now I'm tripping because now they're, they're not nice anymore. They're like, they've they're pissed. had it, you know, and they're uh. not cool. So I'm freaking out and I get out. I fucking run to like the nearest ATM, which is so fucking far away. You just left your phone. I'm yeah, I left my fucking phone. Point, I'm like, right? yeah. That button, point. Dude, fuck I that. go to the ATM and insufficient funds. But I know that I have money in there and I'm like, what are you talking about? And so I got a fucking call lady and she's she's like, oh no, you're, you know, you're in a different country. You, you have a limit every oh, day. It's no. like 500 bucks or something like that. Yeah. It's like, dude, I'm fucking tripping. I have no idea what to do. And uh, when I left, I just like told the guys like, "Oh, I'm just gonna go walk around or something like that." Like, I really hadn't told anybody what I was gonna do. So I have to run, probably a uh, dude. It was so far; it was like a mile to this fucking ATM, not a mile, probably a half mile to the ATM, and then another like half mile to where the guys are drinking. And I'm hoping they're still gonna be there. So like, barge into this bar. The guys are sitting in a big round the table. Look on his face when he ran into this bar. Fucking tripping, like dude. Sweat, yeah. so scared. I was scared already just to do it in jail. General and yeah. even it was legal. I was like, oh my god, so young and like round up. Like, Just you guys, you guys. The hookers have my phone. The hookers have my phone. They're like, what? The the phone, oh, I need some money. <laughs> Give me all your money. <laughs> Fucking. I remember Dave oh. and everybody's laughing. Everybody bursts into laughter. I remember Dave without even skipping beat. Just opens his wallet. Cool as cucumber. Just takes out some money. Just fucking <laughs> puts it on the table. Shot or somebody grabs it. So I don't even. I don't even know if Sean was there at the time. Uh, but you know they gave me money. I had to run back and uh, give the the ladies their oh, money, and they gave amazing. me my phone. Hey guys, okay, money. So oh, yeah. So the moral of the story. Anytime is anybody like that. yeah. Anytime anybody like pops in, there's like winded. Somebody's like, oh, the hookers have your phone. Hookers have your phone. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. that's fucking great. You know, when you're going into shit. a place like that, just check the prices and check what's in check your wallet your first. You know? Uh, that is that. And, you uh, went back, you paid, they gave yeah, you your phone all as well. Yeah. No red button, dude. <sighs> Just don't let that red button get pushed. No, that's, the, that's the thing. Find one, money. One more other thing I wanted to ask about, which was a question that was asked by a million people. What up with Sword Beach? Uh, you got the hat uh, on. You got the hat on. I do have the hat on. Yeah. I like this hat. Um, so I'm going to release it for sure. Probably... Um, the beginning of next year is what we talked about. Nice. Obviously, I don't want it to get in the way of any dirty head stuff. So, you, you know, it's kind of weird yeah. uh, to find a good time to do it. But, like, uh, I'm stoked on it. I, it's It was I, – I needed that. And this – I wrote it when I was getting sober and I was, like, in a pretty dark spot. And I, like, had – I needed to, like, get shit out. And I was needed to get some aggression out. Um, so listening back, I really love it. I'm really proud of it. Uh, it's definitely not where I'm at anymore. Yeah. I, I think I'll continue to do Sword Beach stuff, but it's I'm just going to – that'll be the name of just whatever music whatever I feel like feel putting like out. Put yeah, out. so it might not always be the same, but I think I'm going to partner up with Rome nice. and put it out through Fresh Goods and just put fucking – everything out that i have wow. you know there was a plan like do this and that and whatever and it's just like i have probably nine songs that i'm super stoked on 
You're just going to fucking put them out. Why not? People See, won't hear it. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. nice to have that outlet. We talked about this in the beginning. It's nice to have that outlet that's obviously the Dirty Heads will always be number one for all of us in the band. But you got to have that outlet yeah. to, it, to do other things. Yeah, you know? and you know what's cool is that I was able to say shit that I wouldn't want to say on a Dirty Heads album. Totally. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's, 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 we have lots of different uh styles that we touch on right mm -hmm. and there's some more than we love than others and it was cool to just be like i'm gonna fucking and we had like a bunch of time off and i was like i'm just gonna do a fucking hip-hop album i'm just gonna yeah. do a grimy fucking aggressive fucking hip-hop album that's really what i was fun. gonna say for the people that don't know sword beach jared, no, jared does his own side project you know it's really just him it's a hip-hop it's called sword beach he's already released an album several years back now the first uh, album, like how songs. Songs. little EP, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I saw the music video. Yeah, you can go there. to yeah. so, just dope. look up Sword Beach on anything streaming, and then we have yeah. really cool merch, and it's just fun. You know, it's just, just it was just a fun it, yeah. thing to do, and and if I do another album, it'll definitely probably be a little bit different, just because where my mind's at. But it's cool yeah. to look back and listen to like fuck and how pissed I was at just everything, and like uh, what a dark spot I was in. But it's cool to have music to uh, you know have that outlet. Totally. So yeah, it's it's. Yeah. I I mean I know I've said a million times that it's coming out, but like we, I literally just had a call a couple of weeks ago about like, hey, it's sitting Let's there doing it. nothing. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna put this fucking just shit put out. That and shit out, man. Yeah. Oh, and it's dope. Yeah, yeah. Anyone listening Thanks, that might be going through now what you went through then, look forward to that. You yeah, know, that's an album that you could probably listen to and go, all right, Jared was in the same dark place I'm in. So anyone who's trying to get off you know, drinking, get off drugs or change their life in Anything. a better way. Look yeah. at Jared now. I mean, it's, it's wild, dude. The difference I got to see in Jared was so awesome this summer. Completely different person. Still totally Jared. Still funny. Still talk shit. Nothing yeah. changed as far as him being funny or loving movies or, you know, it's all the same. It's just this sober Jared with this whole clear mind and everything. And so if anyone's in that spot now, Come on, you're not alone, dude. There's an album coming out, and you'll you'll be you'll see what Jared where he was, and and you can see where he is now. That's where you will be too. Yeah. Listening right yeah. now. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, it's just commitment to everybody. It's just yep. it's all it is is commitment, you know. And like try and look at it. Try and find any way that you can look at it differently, where y you aren't like, um, where it's not a burden, or you're not a burden, or you're shameful of it. You know, like like I said, like with the science experiment thing. Like th there's like um. I don't know who said it. It was like Socrates or something like that. It was like, it's a shame for a man to pretty, it was, uh, it was way more beautiful than this, but it's like, it's a shame for a man to live his whole life without seeing his full potential, right? Physically, mm -hmm. mentally, whatever. So I was like, all right, I'm going to, let's see what this body can do. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't party anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the time, like, let's see where I can get my fucking body. Let's see how, like, just the best version of my body of me yep. that I can make, even if it was just physically, right? Like not working on mental stuff, just mm -hmm. like physically, let's see what my fucking body can do right now. And I'm like, and now I'm here. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, I oh, yeah. fucking get it. And then you become proud of yourself and not in any vain way. It's just cool to be like, I, okay, I can fucking do that. And yeah. now like pain and, um, things that you don't like doing before are so minor. Now I like now I'm addicted to doing shit that I don't like. That's why I'm doing stand up. Because I really like jujitsu. It comes naturally to me. Oh, stand up fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, so jujitsu was like mm -hmm. very it came naturally. I understood it as much and I'm not I still fucking suck, but um when I started, even Nick, my coach, was just like, Hey dude, like stick with this. Yeah, like you got, you got it. Body yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, he's I'm like, lanky, you know, everything. I can yeah, I can make you a killer. Like I'm not bragging anyway, but he's yeah. like, It's yeah. it's naturally there. It's not stand up. Yeah. And Jared, for the up. listeners too, Anthony Gonzalez that we had on episode like four or so. Yeah, with Jalen. Yeah, with Jalen Turner. Jared is now training with Jalen and Anthony at Ruka, right? You know, so you can go, you know, Jared's page or even Anthony's page and you'll see pictures of Jared training with Jalen Turner, UFC fighter, and with Anthony Gonzalez. I think they were episode four on our show. And I'm, I'm going to start going over there as soon as I can. Yeah. I got the little baby, but I'm going to have a babysitter soon. My mother-in-law is coming to stay with us for a bit. So I'm going to hopefully be able to go to Ruka and start training yeah, but, with Jared. But you're good. Your technique is there. I'm not, bro. Like, well, it they're... doesn't come naturally. It's like the, the whole, like, rubbing, you know, <laughs> patting your head, rubbing your stomach thing. I'm just like, oh, all over the fucking place. And there's so much technique to it. It's like golfing or surfing. When you yeah. remember one thing, you forget four other ones and you look fucking stupid. You know, but I like that. Yeah. You know, and uh, Jalen, Jalen, like uh, after the 
uh, day like uh, Anthony threw me in with uh, just a little clinch, and Jalen was going one percent. It was yeah. so impressive of how just fucking nothing I was compared to him. It, uh, it was ridiculous. It was terrifying, and he was one yeah. percent. Like yeah. here we go, little buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just like oh my god, this is so impressive. But he was like, you know, it said something about the tarantula, and I was like, dude, if you're the tarantula, I'm a fucking squid or whatever <laughs> and for like the whole week he was just sending me squ- uh, squidward memes nice. and so uh, now in the gym well, they just call me the squidward. squid every time i'm like god damn so now i'm the squid, squid. yeah squid. what's up squid and i'm like dude we used to call uh, like little grom squid yeah. get out of here you fucking squid so up, squid but, but yeah i love wow, it wow they should call you pudding yeah. P- they could you can call me pudding what's up pudding what's up pudding but you can't pick your nickname that's what harley quinn calls the joker I don't like it. Yeah. I don't want it. She took it. Never heard of him. I don't want Couldn't. it. Did you, uh, <laughs> did anybody see it? What? No. Oh, Joker? Joker. I saw it. It's yeah, fucking okay. dope. It's like, I know it's really good because everybody's told me, so I'm going to see it, but uh, half of me doesn't want to see it because I just don't give a fuck about Batman movies anymore. And they've been so good. They're so good. They're so good. <laughs> Great. Right. He fucking Ledger. I know, but why are we continuing to make fucking Spider-Man movies and fucking Batman movies? I oh, might grab the board, dude. I how many fucking re- I'm not gonna, but like how many <laughs> how many times are we gonna remake certain movies? I, I'm with you. We all that. know how Batman became Batman. We all know how Spider-Man became fucking Spider-Man. Nobody fucking cares. Do you know how many good comics are out there that you can make amazing <laughs> fucking movies out of? Like, I don't give a shit. And I know that Todd fucking whatever did a different version. It's a comic book movie, but it's not a comic book movie. Yeah. I don't fucking care, <laughs> I dude. can't wait for Jared I to don't, see it because you're going to uh, be like, that was the no, best I heard it. Movie. I heard it. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it's amazing. I, I but you know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I totally get well, what you're now saying, Robert though. Pattinson's in Batman. I don't fucking care. I don't <laughs> fucking care. It's not James Bond. That's dope because it's James yeah. Bond and yeah. it's different shit. And it's not like this is how James Bond became James Bond. But every three fucking Batman movies, the or Batman origin. That's the dude. We don't. We know. We know. We don't need to see Thomas Wayne die anymore. Yeah, bro. Yeah. The pearls. We know. Yeah. We know. We, 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 we remember it. from yeah. the last one. Yeah. What the to fuck? To piggyback dude. on that, th- that's what's pissing me off with Disney. Because now every single cartoon you've ever heard of will be live action. Yeah, man, and I don't that's care. It. It's the yeah. same, and it's and the cartoons are always better. Maybe that's just because we watch yeah. you watch them. I'm like the cartoon is better. Yeah. But I don't care. Yeah, I know there's literally. a lot of unoriginality. Going feeling on. good. I'm feeling good. Yeah. But you're right, dude. You're not fucking wrong. Yeah. With You'll love that movie. I know. I heard. I know. And I know you. But will. I, dude, I know what you mean. It's like every time I see another fucking Spider Man, I'm like, ah, I just don't yeah. Care. Yeah. Who's he fighting now? Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. He swings around from a web on a building. Yeah. Right. So, dude, let's. We have some pictures. Oh Shoot, my god! Buddy almost forgot. forgot, dude. So, and don't you know, worry, look, Jared. Like, I, I couldn't <laughs> find Jared, much. Dude. Like, it's not even embarrassing for you. But I want to here. Put pick. Uh, show the one first off of me and Jared in the backyard. Yeah, for the uh, listeners, you guys got to go to YouTube so you can see this. We'll describe the photos, but we're we in got my some backyard. old ass oh. photos. Look at this. So, oh, oh, it's a little dark. But who's got the surround sound shirt? That's me. That's, that's me you? with the fro. That's Duddy that's, with the fro. That's actually Rachel right there. That's my wife. That's Rachel we're sitting s- down on the left. That's your parents' house. That's my parents' yeah. old house when we were young. Um, show the next one where it's just me with a fro. Look at this. is back when me and Jared kind of first <laughs> I guess we've been hanging out for a bit. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, he looks like Rob is, your, is it your birthday then? It must have been, dude. Look, that actually, you look cool right there. Thanks, man. For the listeners, dude, you got Duddy. He, it looks like he does already have his first tattoo. It's poking right, yeah. right out of the sleeve there. He's wearing an old surround sound shirt. That was my old band. It must be his birthday. He's in our parents' house. I remember <laughs> the painting. He's holding a cake and he's got. A fro, I mean, what is that? Peter yeah. Frampton? Who yeah. are you right there? Dude? He looks like a young Rob Machado, dude. It's a Rob Machado. Yeah. If anyone's a surf fan, dude, the guy with the yeah. fro, it's a perfect fro, dude. Look at that. What That's about the fantastic. one where it's like a living room and Jared's in it? He's got like a yellow sideways hat. Flip that one up. Oh, <laughs> That's the shit I remember back in the day right look there. Look at that, dude. He's got a Hawaiian like lay on or something. Is that what's going oh, on? Oh, yeah, that was probably Jen. Dude, is that Whatever. Duddy with the shaved head? That's Duddy with the shaved oh head. Oh my god, is that Duddy me? With the that's Duddy with the shaved head. Yeah. And Jared's got the middle finger, and then there's some lurker sitting on the stairs, just an absolute murderer on the stairs. <laughs> I don't know, who, or is that Jared's shadow? No, I don't no, know what no, that no, is. That's me with a shaved head, and Jared with short hair and like a front ways sideways. What a shit! Hat. Like what a little shit! I see. I'm so glad I had a daughter, dude. I know I'll eat those words later, but like, <laughs> like I see that fucking kid walking oh. around sometimes, and I'm just like, ooh, fuck you. 
you. I'm so yeah, glad I have a boy. Like, rock. I see little 14 year old boys walking around, I'm just like, oh, you suck, dude. Because yeah. I suck. This yeah. looks like a this looks like a 90s album cover, like a, like an alternative <laughs> rock what? 90s album cover. This looks cover. like a album cover from now. Yeah, because yeah. they're going back to yeah. it. All right, like, now for a 90s rock uh, band cover, why don't you show them Unknown? I found a picture of me and Clint. This was my first. Yeah. There it is, yes. dude. Yes. Duddy B's punk band, dude. <laughs> Unknown. It's the same uh, outfit that Nick Hexum wears. <laughs> it is. Dude, that's Nick Hexum on the final song of the night, dude. I'll fucking oh, no, the take final it. Song He's a hunky dude, He's a, He's a hunky hunk. fella, that one, I'll dude. take the shit out of that. So this is our garage, dude. When Duddy and I were younger, our dad w- uh, was in construction, and so he would bu- he built us a sound room like in our garage. He built a little room in there. We got a bunch of carpet. We'd just find carpet and put it to the walls, and those are old drum, my old drum pads in the back. Yeah, dude, that's the garage. That's Duddy's first That was the old time. Band. That's where we... Uh, I don't think that was the garage that we actually started rapping in. I think it was. It's the it next, was the next garage, one, probably. Yeah, maybe. the beige carpet. Yeah. yeah, we had two different. We we had this, and then we moved. We tore and, all the shit and down, then, and then we. My dad built another one in the other house. We had to. We both had bands. My parents, our parents. You know, you guys remember the episode <laughs> with our dad. If you haven't, you know, go watch that one. It's a great episode. We had our dad on for Father's Day. And, Dude, our parents were super supportive of us, and they built us these sound rooms. And not only did it lead to the rap songs that we played for you guys earlier, it led to all the music you know you're hearing from the Dirty Heads. And I mean, we even hosted bands. We would have bands oh, yeah. come from Las Vegas and stay at our house, and we'd have like 20 kids sleeping in our garage in the sound room, and we'd like hook these Vegas bands up with shows and trade them. That's for- crazy to think about. I yeah. never thought about that. If your dad didn't build that garage. Dirty heads might not be. Might, you know, it's like, yeah. might yeah. I mean, that was literally from we would just hang out in there. Yeah, it was the hangout spot. Yeah. And we'd come home from shows at night and we'd put the equipment back in the garage. And then we'd kind of just sit in there for an hour and a half and talk about the show that what, what happened. And it was just a killer place to, to grow up. We were very lucky. Very, very. What lucky. other photos, Duddy? Any more? I thought I saw I, more. I, I couldn't. I was looking for some good ones. I could. I didn't find much. There's not really much else in there. Um, oh, there's, oh, a there's good that one. one. <laughs> hey, that oh, Jared's got his hand on your dong or your butt yeah, or get something. Line, bro. Get oh, him line, bro. Oh, get him. fellas. Oh, dude. Dude. Hey, uh, do you want also me to bring one of my buddies? <laughs> and then that Looking guy comes from, in. You want that, to bring one of my buddies? <laughs> that was so fucking long ago. Look that at was. like how many broy like snowboard surf guys have that look that fucking dude dud, duddy started that shit. It, dude, it is classic oh, the duddy you, hat with the curly blo- every People time i it. see a dude i'm like that is a i see my brother everywhere i see yeah. guys with the hat forward and the curly long blonde hair and it's just hilarious it's i see look at it. those crooked hats though what yeah. a fucking piece of shit <laughs> but now duddy threw the beard on so he threw I, it yeah, off well i, I fucking had i i gotta look a little older do I you? like the beard. It's getting Yeah, thick. that baby face is weird, dude. You know, like weird. You're gonna look at like sixty. What? With that baby face. <laughs> Six year old so baby. No, weird. I realize. Like, I I go to like my kid's school to pick him up and stuff, and I'm. <laughs> you're a young. You are a young dad. I'm a young yeah. dad. So now I like put my hair up in like a little fucking tail. Yeah. And my beard. And I right. go and I'm like, I'm a dad. I'm okay. gonna be the it's oldest dad, dad yeah. dude. You're gonna be a no, like no, decent. No, I'm forty. I just had. Right, I, I just turned right. forty years old, and I have a six month old. Two thousand twenty, bro. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's progressive. I'm fine. Yeah, you you're only as old as you feel. You I don't feel old thanks to because on it. of on it. That's right. Get on it, dude. Anything else? I mean, there could be a we three could obviously to have twelve come more back. hours of shit. But you know what? Do we? You know, shit. I think that I was think good, we've, man. We've covered a lot here. I'm positive we're gonna have Jared back for sure. Done. And I re- we really want to get you and cheese together yeah. oh, and God, just do a nice dude. little yeah. hangout. Yeah. So that'll happen very soon. But. You guys asked for it every single day. You got it. Jared Watson, right you know here. What, uh, you know what I can bring in next time, Duddy, that I found? Huh. My wedding speech at your wedding. Oh. It's fire, bro. And oh. remember mine, too? And Jake's at my wedding. I got and a bet. dad? Dude, you can oh actually look that God. up. Oh, my dad's was fucking class. You can look that up. I, I don't know if I know that mine got put online because, like, Nick, our friend Nick. So if you type in, like, Duddy I don't I know, have Dustin no Bushnell wedding, idea. Duddy B we'll wedding, Jake wedding speeches. Wedding speeches. Yeah, we'll, we'll find bring them. them. We'll bring it them. was yeah. Duddy's wedding, dude. It was amazing. Even Ed, that was a video presentation. We 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 burned oh. this full hard, hard. It was a roast. It. it was a roast, and it was great. <laughs> but dude, Jared, 
Thank you so fucking much, dude. Oh, this man. was amazing, My dude. Pleasure. Let's just Thank hit the boom and let's hit the the outro. And is there anything you want to plug on the way out, dude? Or I mean, no, uh, dirty heads, dirty heads, on dirty it. Heads, dirty yeah. heads, fucking on it. the boys. Yeah. Uh, so dirty, as always, fucking thanks to everyone over here at Reamp Studios uh, for all the help. Uh, Head yeah. over to Feeling Good with Duddy.com. Get that pork snorkel pen. All the great merch we have there. That's right. And also uh, go to CutlassBrand.com. And uh, if you type in feeling the code feeling good at checkout, you will get 20% off your order there. And tell them about the Patreon page, Jake. There's the Patreon page. I have something else I can't forget. So go to our Patreon page, Patreon slash feeling good with Duddy. You're going to get behind the scenes footage of this and every episode, as well as a lot of other stuff. But also, you guys, big announcement. What's up? Everybody? Oh, <laughs> Daddy. Just, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. no, no, fuck it, dude. <laughs> fuck it. We'll talk over it, dude. So, so what's, what's up, everybody? everybody? How, How you doing? doing? Oh, so Surf Roots, dude. Or sur- what, what? Surf Roots Radio. Uh, we are going to uh, Feeling Good with Duddy. We'll be premiered on there uh, every week. We're stoked to be a part of the Surf Roots family. This is a new thing, so we're stoked. Uh, check it out. What are you going to do? You go get the app, the Surf Roots app. We're going to find out more. I don't dude, know. They didn't tell me. Our podcast is going to be featured on Surf Roots. Our, they're going to have clips of our show on their TV channel. We're going to find out all the details. All the links will be below. Check it out. It was a great show. Just let's listen to Jared on the way out. From the top. Oh, fuck. Just enjoy this on the way out, y'all. Enjoy. Yo, bitch, get on your knees and slap my balls. Come out of the day when you're walking in the halls. You be screaming who's daddy when I'm pulling on your hair. (laughs) What's the accent? It's so good. What state is that? Where are you from, dude? Yeah. 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 Do that shit, but stick around I'll I'll your funky, funky, funky clip. Funky clip. Ah. Times I can't remember. Three or four times we're back in December because I'm literally <laughs> fanatical. And yes, it's fire. Fire. What he suggested is that she said, over. hump me in the butthole. He said, absolutely not. I don't do that. I will, however, lick your funky clip. That I'm that I'm here for and I'm about it. What's up, everybody? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Feeling yeah, good radio, we out of here. Come with the whack round the hill. Maybe Jay did. I like to smoke the sensei. Cause if you push, and we be branches off the temple of tree. No, no, you at the bottom.